Welcome back, everyone, to episode 20 of the U.S. series. And in this series, we're going to make some improvements in the Pacific Fleet. So we're going to do a lot of building of newer equipment and some of the older ships we're going to decommission. For instance, these level 2 cruisers, they're pretty much obsolete. I mean, they could still win against certain countries, but the majority of our enemies have more advanced equipment than this. So, we're going to get rid of that and we're going to put some more aircraft carriers in the area um there's a level four aircraft carrier that's being built that's going to go to pearl harbor and there's also another one that's going i believe i set it up to go to diego garcia So before we get into all of that, we're going to build another nuclear fusion power plant. And we're just going to place it right here. Our agents had to abort. Okay, and... Actually, we want to... purchase some shares of, uh... a few different sectors. So we're going to do surface ships. And we're going to do this as a reform. And let's see. Name this National Defense. Investment Act. All right, so we have that, and Let's do, do we have combat robots available here? Yeah. Do that for the combat robots. Let's just check this real quick. Um, let's just say clothing. All right, so we'll do that, and do we want to do drones? Let's see how that's going to fare up. Um, hmm. Do drones or what about the 
fighter jets. Let's try it. All right, so that's sixty-three percent approval. Our governmental cell informs me that it has had the opportunity to approach this potential informer. Sharing this moment of intense spirituality with the faithful gives me great joy. On this holy day, I thank all of our communities across the country, both those in cities as well as those in small, remote villages who are all coming together in prayer. Okay. Um... Let's see. So... <clears throat> I forgot I had set up the ability or the agreement to be able to build a military base in Australia. So... Like I said, to support our Pacific fleet. I'm going to build a naval base. Place it right there. Um, the other thing we want to do is China is really not that far away. Um, Guam is within striking distance. So we want to be able to defend that air base. So we're going to put an anti-aircraft missile silo in the area. One of our drones. Um, let's see, with Taiwan, let's do a free trade agreement. The preparations are complete. The whole country is preparing to joyfully... Alright, we still have missile launchers out from episodes We're ago. We're going to attack. Yeah, we're gonna, we are going to attack. Gonna have them return. It's, that's why I keep getting hit with uh, warmongering. Yeah, right here too. One of my men succeeded in infiltrating Key Center. Our agents had to abort. All right. So let's go into... All right, so naval forces. Let's go with Marshall Islands. I'm going to do two. And the 
same thing. I'm going to do two more there. And then we're going to do the Northern Marinas Islands. We're going to do two there. And Let's see, we could do about. Actually, let's get started with the uh, combat robots, too. So, how long will it take for... That's actually not bad. And I'm sure this is going to be like 500 or close to 600 million. Um... Now to decide which base we want to place them at. Um, let's go with Fort Irwin. All right, so we'll agree with that. All right, so Taiwan accepted our free trade agreement. Sharing this moment of intense spirituality with the faithful gives me great joy. On this holy day, I thank all of our communities across the country, both those in cities as well as those in small remote villages, who are all coming together in prayer. All right, so we do have agents in Somalia. Um, we're actually going to assist them. So we're probably going to give them some equipment. All right, so I was right. It's a little over 500 million. So we'll approve that. All right, and should be one day away from our new aircraft carrier coming in. It's true that the blow cannot really be described as fatal. Two arrests. Our infiltrated agents had the chance to carry out a sabotage operation. The preparations are complete. The whole country is preparing to joyfully celebrate this occasion. All right, so that's been accepted. The vote was held and the reform was adopted. The package has been delivered. The delivery deadlines were met. We are already taking advantage of the equipment. All right, so we have three new battle cruisers. 
You're committed. Only thing is, I don't remember where I had them placed. I believe they may have gone to um Norfolk, Virginia. Let's see. Yeah, that's exactly where they went. Um, no, we're not going to take out their chief of staff. We want to keep him infiltrated. And we're not taking out Saudi Arabia's head of state either. So what I have noticed on the East Coast is we're more, um, there's no air defenses on this side of the country. So there's going to be some improvements on that within the next couple episodes. But we don't really have any... Enemies that pose a major threat along the East Coast as a whole. It's mainly the West Coast that uh, we have China to worry about. Um, let's see. housing to be canceled at all right so that's no longer automatic um let's check our debt debt is actually going up um actually let's get rid of some more illegal immigrants So it's 20 days. All right. I was trying to shoot for uh, deporting everyone on Christmas, but uh, looks like I should have tried that on the 5th. Oh, well. Demonstrations are taking place at this very moment in the country's main cities. All of them have come together in op- Alright, so let's go to industry. Alright, let's do a subsidy of, let's do two billion. I'll wait until the following year. All right, so road accidents increase. So let's go and increase funding for highway patrol. And the next thing is gonna hire 50,000 more police officers. The package has been delivered. The delivery deadlines were met. All right, so our aircraft carrier finally came in. The package has been delivered. The delivery deadlines were met. 
Demonstrations are taking place. Alright, so that quick accidents began to decline again. And let me see, did I... Where did I put... Alright, so... The other three cruisers went to the Norfolk base also. The funeral will take place next week. Do you want to attend the ceremony? Alright. Um. Can I have to deal with the dead? One of our drones has detected camouflaged enemy units that we have listed on our military map. We Alright, so... Let's adjust the taxes. And we will name this... Budget 2026. Um, inheritance tax will drop that by 2%. Drop. Company tax by half percent. We'll raise the financial transaction tax. Right. Here are the GDP and growth figures for the last year. As you know, these are the most important economic indicators and the most revealing of the health of our economy. The decree takes effect as of today. All right, so we got rid of 756,237 illegal immigrants. Demonstrations are taking place at this very moment in the country's main cities. All of them have come together in... Our infiltrated agents had the chance to carry out a sabotage. Our agents had to abort. Alright, so we have a $210 billion treasury reserve. Our network has obtained intelligence, data, and passwords on the principal platforms of the nation. Alright, so...
once we're done um adding the new battle cruisers to the Pacific Fleet, we're gonna start concentrating on um dealing with Iran. And we're also going to try to stabilize the area. We're going to assist Somalia with their conflict. Um, we're going to give them we're going to give them eight thousand tanks. Those tanks are obsolete anyway. Um, at least by our standards, they are. So that should assist them somewhat. Um, also, we're going to give them... 100 cannons so that should strengthen their military a little more and we're even going to Gonna give them some financial aid. Let's just go with five hundred million. You know full well that in our so Um Oh well that's just great. So they're producing chemical weapons. Um and we just gave them funding, so let's sit with their president and tell him to knock it off. Good morning! I didn't come empty-handed. In fact... Alright, so Argentina wants us to buy silver from them. They actually produce enough, but... We can produce silver ourselves, so we're not going to take them up on their offer. Huh. Politely offer them champagne and in that meeting. Alright, we have a budget surplus of 2.26%. Here is our growth forecast for the end of the year based on calculations that we made last month. This is a very good figure. Our economy is dynamic. Alright, let's check energy. Alright, so I'm still waiting for the first nuclear fusion plant to be completed so we can um, so we can try to nationalize that and that should help us with our economy in the long run So 
Let's do 41, 5. One week before the beginning of. All right. Iran just bought two nuclear missiles from Panama. All right, so this is one of the things that Eversim needs to work on. I hope they do this in an update. Panama is not a nuclear power, so how on earth did Iran purchase nuclear weapons from them? And it's not just Panama either. Um, in other scenarios that I've played, like it even shows that uh, it was showing like Iran purchased nuclear missiles from the Vatican. I mean, again, Everson needs to correct some of these things because some things just don't make sense at all. All right, so <clears throat> we're going to start lining ourselves up to deal with Iran. Um... So I'm debating on whether to, since Yemen is an ally of Iran, or at least I believe they are, or they're funding a, uh, A certain political group or yeah political group that Iran is using as a proxy so either way um, contemplating on either invading Yemen or stabilizing Somalia and then using Somalia as a as a um, area to place military bases on to attack Iran and where to uh, build up supplies and equipment that that's somewhat out of range of Iran So let's see how this is going for them. All right, so depending on how Somalia's leader reacts, so I'm basically going to tell him to knock it off with the chemical weapons. One of our drones has detected camouflaged enemy units. That Our infiltrated scientific agents inform me that they could be in a situation to provoke a major nuclear accident. This target would be their privileged target. The induced disruption, along with the collateral effects due to the dispersion of radioactive material, could reach a level of 13.6 on a scale of 10, according to a modelling that I performed based on the curve of Bill Cherno. Do you wish to confirm the launch of this operation? Yeah, we'll go ahead and take care of that. Um, I could hit them with a cyber attack also. 
but I'm going to reserve that for a possible invasion. Um, let's recruit 50,000 more soldiers. The terrorist organization has nodded off. The All right, so we have 185 billion as a treasury reserve. So we'll place that towards our own debt. Dropped it down a little bit. Huh. That's not to be turned. Um. Oh, okay. I know what I have to do. I have to release the information first and then go to him and tell him to knock it off. Let me see something. All right, so it says Suspicions. Okay, so it's just suspicions. Um, there's no actual proof. Very kind. So we'll go ahead and end this meeting. All right. All right, so Saudi Arabia finances terrorists in Sweden too. Crime falling, but so high. Um, let's see how we deal with that. Um, let's build, okay. I'm gonna have to build more prisons. So we're gonna go with another thousand prisons. So if we want to get crime down to around between two and three percent. The vote was held and the reform was adopted. All right. So I think I'm going to leave this up to you guys. Um, should I attack Somalia? Yemen? Or... Just wait it out to actually go to war with Iran. Yeah, so I could do a special military operation in uh, Somalia.
All right, so they lost 32 tanks. I have 5,000 casualties. All right, so let's go. Um, actually, you know, Somalia would be a good place to put the, uh, combat robots. I think that's what I actually may do. The package has been delivered. All right, so... All right, so where did that other aircraft carrier go? Um, did I put him there? Oh. Put him at Pearl Harbor. So you guys are going to see the uh, difference between the level 3 and the level 4 aircraft carrier. So this is the new one, which is more than likely the uh, Gerald Ford, and this is the other. So I'm going to place this aircraft carrier here. Um... Just realizing I need to put uh, the newer battle cruisers here too. So let's go. Actually, I'm not going to do the battle cruisers. I am going to. Do one nuclear submarine that's level four, and yeah, we'll place them at Pearl Harbor. So we have a large surplus coming in. Our sportsmen are ready, but if I may. So if only we can maintain this for the remainder of the quarter, we can pay this down a little more. All right, so that's going to cost us 15 billion. We'll go ahead and agree to it. The target was taken successfully. Our men are on site and away from radiation, leaving the local authorities, if I may, to wade through the back rolls. Given initial reports, I would revise my first projection. I reassess the weighted impact of the extent of panic on the grounds by at least 2.5 points. All right, so we created a nuclear accident. Um, so far, they already had 94 casualties. And this is the area we were looking at anyway for a potential attack. As Carg Island is a target, and 
So is this location. It would uh, throw off their trade severely. Oh, we got the first ones. Uh, we'll keep this to ourselves. That surplus is going up even higher. Um, let's check energy. All right, nuclear fusion reactor. We're gonna let's see if we could put that. All right, so. We're going to nationalize that. The artist received first price. All our cultural policy has been indirectly rewarded by this. Just a week to go before the opening ceremony. All right, so... I believe I'm going to end this episode. Wow. Alright, so that went from 94 people to 1,000 people. That was real quick. Our infiltrated agents had the chance to carry out a sabotage operation. A sort of Bulgarian opening, if you'll allow me the analogy, that according to my calculations... Okay, we can destroy their space center, too. And this is punishment for developing nuclear weapons and sponsoring um, terrorism in other countries. One of our drones has to... So, again, I'm going to end this episode, so... I will see you soon, and I'll do a poll um, within the next 12 hours or so. And you guys can let me know if you want to see boots on the ground for, for a special military operation in Somalia. Because there's basically three factions so it's the Somalia government then there's one faction here and then there's another faction there so if we go in we can clear out all of them and Places under the uh, Somalia government. Or we can build a case to invade Yemen. Or we can uh, be patient and set up some kind of military preemptive strike on Iran if they continue to um, purchase nuclear weapons um, and continue to sponsor terrorism. So you guys can let me know and I will see you soon.